What's up, everybody? I'm beginning uh, a new thing, and I hope uh, it helps a few people. You know, whenever I need to do something and I don't know how to do it, uh, I usually Google, go to YouTube and Google how to whatever and watch tutorials. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a tutorial or a how to pray on some of the basic things. I'm going to look at, you know, how to tell other people about Jesus, how to share your faith, uh, how to study the Bible. What are some things that would help me to, to learn more from God's word? So anyway, today I want to talk to you about prayer. You know, I mean, this is something everybody needs to do. We need to know what it's all about. What is prayer? So anyway, I, I was just thinking, what is prayer? Well, prayer is basically giving God a call and having a chat with him. Imagine if uh, on your cell phone, you could just uh, punch in God's phone number, uh, which would be salvation, and uh, you could call him and Imagine getting him on the line and uh, talking with God on your cell phone. <laughs> what would you say? See, I think sometimes what we do is we make prayer so proper and everything and religious that when we talk to God, we're really not being sincere or honest or whatever. But if you could call God up today, what would you tell him on the phone? Maybe it'd be like God. Uh, Help! <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you'd tell him. Maybe you'd just chat with him. Maybe you're facing something that you don't know what to do. And you could call him on your cell phone, and he'd answer you. See, that's the cool thing about calling God. You never get a busy signal. <laughs> that's cool. He's never too busy to talk to you. And not only that, you'll never get like an answering machine or uh, a message like, Hey, uh, give me a call back. Uh, you, know, you, you always get to talk with him. That's pretty cool. And, you know, when you, when you talk to God, you know, the key to talking with God is just being honest. I mean, that helps me. I mean, he knows when you're lying anyway. <laughs> so when you talk to God, and you say, God, I'm, I'm really trusting you and I'm not worried. And you're lying. See, he knows you're lying. And he'll still talk to you, but uh, you're just not making a lot of progress. So when you talk to God, one of the keys to talking with God is just be honest. Be you. Be real. What would you say to God if you could talk to him on your cell phone? Well, you don't need a cell phone, obviously. You just need to say, hey, God, and chat with him. You know, I think God likes that kind of stuff. You know, the Bible says he's a friend closer than a brother, and you know, if you have a brother, that's the kind of guy you can go to about anything. You can trust him. Well, God is a friend closer than a brother. So imagine going to God and telling him anything, your deepest secret, which, by the way, he already knows. <laughs> so you might as well tell him and talk to him about it. You know, he loves you unconditionally. So you can talk to him about anything. And the cool thing about God is he'll give you an answer. Now, we'll talk about that later. It may not be an audible answer. But he will give you an answer. Maybe not the one you want, but he will give you an answer. But when you talk to God, you know, you don't have to be superficial or super religious or proper. You know, you don't have to be, uh, you know, good at speech. You can just, you know, hey, God, I need to talk with you. I'm really hurting. Or God, I'm really confused. God, I don't know what to do. That, that's being real. You know, a lot of people, you can learn a lot about them by listening to people pray. When I first got saved, it really freaked me out. I mean, I mean, it was weird because when I first got saved, people would talk to God in perfect King James English. <laughs> you know, like, uh, blessed art thou, O Lord. And I remember thinking, wow, I thought God was multilingual. <laughs> I thought he could speak many languages, <laughs> even mine. You're like, hey, God, help! So you, know, you don't have to use King James English. Just talk to him in your own words. Talk to him from your heart. That's what he wants. Hey, God, I need you. Hey, God, I don't know what to do. When I first got saved, I remember people praying for the food. That freaked me out. I remember them saying, 
bless the hands of the ones that prepared the food. Now, I remember hearing that and thinking, why would you want to just bless their hands? <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, maybe it's because they use their hands to prepare the meal, but they walked around on their feet and you didn't bless their feet. And when you just bless their hands, you're just kind of being stingy. You know, when you pray for the food, you want to bless the person that prepared it. Bless all of them. <laughs> God can handle it. Really, just God bless that person for preparing the meal. I don't understand why you'd say bless the hands. In my mind, I have a very imaginative mind. And in my mind, I could see somebody say, bless the hands of the one that prepared the food. And the person that cooked the food would go, wow, my hands, my hands, they're blessed, they're blessed. <laughs> you know, we say weird things to God. You know, like I've heard people pray, God, I invite your presence here. Well, I want to inform you that he was there long before you were. <laughs> so he's omnipresent. He's everywhere all the time. He's listening all the time. Listen, prayer is just having a conversation with God. It's just chatting with God. You know, you ought to try it. Just, just give it a shot. Just say, hey, God, I just want to talk to you and be really honest from my heart. How cool will that be? Hey, this is number one on how to pray. I hope you liked it. I'm going to do another one later. God bless you. Have a great day.